29P has in store for us. Well, this is the end of the road, a 329P. Honestly, just looks like a campsite. Got a pretty spectacular view, though. So we'll get turned around here and see what else we can find. Just stopped at this epic like camp spot here. It's got a pretty nice overlook. Got some shots here. I hope you guys enjoy that. So we're going to keep heading up the road here. See if we can't find a trail that we can actually get through. guys I don't think we're getting around this snow drift so we're gonna have to just turn around find another way up this mountain Alright guys, we made it off the trail. Um, that first trail we went up was uh, 338. 
I ended up finding some people that we could actually uh, follow instead of you know wheeling by ourselves. So we ended up turning around on 338 because of snow. Ended up going to Sand Lakes Road as far as we could go until we hit some snow that we couldn't pass. That's when we turned on to 329 and uh, eventually made it to uh, 327. Still pretty early in the year. So snow is an issue at 10,000 feet. Um, also, you know, down limbs and stuff. I guess that's kind of normal for this time of year. All in all, the trail was pretty easy. The trails we were going on, you could probably take a anything two-wheel drive. And really, it doesn't even have to have any clearance on it. They're pretty much just gravel roads at that point. A few rocky sections, but nothing too difficult. I'll leave a link if you're interested to the Gaia track that I recorded for this video. So you can kind of see where we're at inside of Medicine Bow. But all in all, we had a fun day. I'd like to thank David, Cheryl, and Jensen for letting us follow him. You know, that was, that was a huge relief off of my mind. And just having some knowledge, because me being a flatlander, I've never done anything like this. So, and as as we were coming down the mountain, I we uh, came across two moose at the very end. I've never even seen a moose in real life, so that was pretty spectacular. Kind of wish I had a better camera to capture that moment. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.